Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Once again, I'm one of my favorite communities, Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. And today I'm showcasing a custom home builder that I really do like. This custom home builder has a unique history. Uh, it used to be called Vintage Estates. They built lots of beautiful custom homes in the area. And then a few years ago, they got bought out by an overseas company called Lansing. Um, they built a few spec homes in the community, and since then they pulled chalks and started building in the Austin area. Well, the previous owner of Vintage Estates decided he wanted to start his company up again and rebranded it as Vintage Luxury. Same great builder, same trades, and actually the same model home that we're going to show you today. So let's go out front and start the tour of this gorgeous custom home. All right, I absolutely do love this home. It is beautiful. It has every bell and whistle that Vintage Luxury can put in the house. This community is really nice, very uh, great. Yep, it wouldn't be a Jason Payne, Cole Banker, Dean Harper video if there wasn't construction going on in it. Anyways, there is. this is the main amenity center with the Lazy River, big pool. You got the children's area right there. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put my link to my Vintage Oaks uh, amenities tour up there. Uh, so if you haven't checked out the amenities here, that's one of the big draws to this area and the location, the people, their Facebook page. Um, there's just so much going on in this community. It's a big community. You are uh, a 10 minute drive from the closest HEB, Comel ISD, so some great schools in this area. Um, just so much going on for us, entertainment, networking, and uh, you're kind of out in the country, but not super far out because, like I said, it's only a eight to ten minute drive to all the urban sprawl stuff you could want. Anyways, love the metal roof they put on there. They got those little fancy rain gutters. Um, I actually did talk to someone who had built with vintage estates before because that's kind of what I do. I like to talk to people. Um, and she gave a big thumbs up. She was quite impressed with their build and their build quality and uh, access to the owner and being able to get things done so all that's very important now i got to remind you they've put every bell and whistle in this home and it shows this house is drop dead gorgeous i absolutely love it you have the office right up front oh i forgot to mention hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already so check out this oversized office it is beautiful love the uh um, trim work they can do up on the rooftops. I mean, they really go all out. Um, I spent like 30 minutes talking to the owner of this company in the woods when he was uh, building a house next to a lot that I had for sale. And he was telling me that they're building around like 275 to $300 a square foot. So that's kind of right in a sweet mid-range spot. They're not going to be the cheapest, but they're also not going to be the most expensive. And that's a really sweet spot to be. Now, what we're looking at here could easily be a mother-in-law suite by being able to close those doors up. It's a custom home. You can easily have them put an access door on the front of it if you wanted to. But this would be a really cool little living room uh, space if you had uh, someone who you didn't want to put in an assisted living place. You wanted to keep them close by. Because you got a, full, you can have a full kitchen right here, which is really nice. I love the finish outs they did on it. And uh, like I said, you got your own little mini apartment, full size bathroom. Love the tile work going all the way up to the top. Eight foot doors throughout. I mean, they've got, put every bell and whistle in it, and a good size bedroom. Let's check out the pantry. Not the pantry. The closet. Yep, good size closet. All right, so yeah, if as uh, our budgets are getting a little tighter, um, we're definitely seeing more and more demand for these mother in law suites. Got a little, looks like a washer and dryer set up, so if you want to do a stacked washer and dryer, you could do that in there. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, you definitely see more and more demand for having those mother-in-law suites built in the house. All right, let's check out this gorgeous main living space because it is beautiful. Love the super tall ceilings that they have in here. That's a lot of fancy work done and just tons of space. I mean, you can do all sorts of entertainment here. Really nice size fireplace with plenty of spot, plenty of space. If you want to put a TV there, but I love the artwork they did. 
and the built-ins. They've decorated this house absolutely beautifully. Speaking of beautiful, check out this kitchen. It is stunning. So uh, I love the curved island going all the way around the little mini island. And as you can tell, uh, that when this was Vintage Estates, they won a lot of awards. And now oh, there's one for Vintage Luxury. So they're back in the game and they're doing really good work. Beautiful, they got Thermidor appliances all in here. And I love how they took that all the way up. Looks beautiful. Um, just talking to the construction manager and he confirmed with the owner, um, Vintage Estates was a building in Cordillera Ranch. They have to file some paperwork and it should be no problem for them to be building at, under the Vintage Luxury brand. So if you're curious about building in Cordillera, you could. Uh, I've never quite seen this refrigerator set up before, but this is a Thermidor refrigerator set up to where you kind of have your normal refrigerator on one side, got your microwave and a very expensive coffee maker uh, and uh, your freezer on the other side. That is super cool. I do love that. But yeah, you just walk in here and you can tell they've done a really nice job with this kitchen. All right, you have a little office space area. It's a little dark, one light's out, but we'll press on. Beautiful, well, nice deep pantry, plenty of space in there. This is gonna be your laundry room. Lots of space, lots of cabinets in the laundry room. And of course, gonna have a three car garage. And this is gonna be an even bigger three car garage. Uh, Cause you got, actually it looks like a four car garage, maybe even a five because this is so freaking deep and big. So yeah, super cool. They've got their over the top water heater cause it's a big size house and a water softener. This is the Texas Hill Country. We do have hard water, water softeners are always recommended. Um, tax rate in the acre section of Vintage Oaks, you're looking at about 1.8, so really not bad especially if you're considering something in Bear County where frankly they're pushing 3% in uh, some of the other high-end communities in Bear County, but this is Comel County. Gorgeous, I love the fact that you have your dining room table set up with views all around the outside. <clears throat> this is definitely an upgrade, but this whole wall can open up one way, well, both ways, so we can really extend the living space in here. We're gonna go out there in just a second. But I do want to show off some of this other main living space. Well, this main inside part of the house. The game room, the bar. This is just a gorgeously done house. Oh, don't want to forget. It's got its own little mini theater place. So yeah, you can definitely come by here and uh, <coughs> put something on the big screen and just relax and chill and close the door so the wife doesn't get too mad at you. But yeah, you got your whole bar set up. You got your margarita window, so if you're making a few margs right here, open the window, pass it out to the folks that are enjoying the pool and the outdoor patio area. Really neat idea to have. Like, well, I got two pass through windows. I guess this whole wall here kind of opens up to where you can do that as well. Super cool. All right, let's just keep on going. This is a big house, so yeah, this tour is gonna take a little bit. You do have a powder room tucked around the corner there, away from everybody else, but we got some bedrooms back here. All right, good sized bedroom, tall ceiling, all with its own restroom. Now this restroom does open up to the uh, pool area, the outdoor space, but it's got a full Shower, love the tile work. We got another bedroom tucked around the corner here. Also with its own bathroom. But this one's gonna be a tub shower combo. Really nicely done. And they've got good size closet. Little mini walk-in closets for these rooms as well. So yeah, I've been quite impressed. Uh, like I said, talked to the owner for a little while 
when we were in the woods that day. And he was an impressive guy. So that's always something important. I like the fact they got the TV up there and the roof work too. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's head on outside. Uh, we've been teasing the outside area. Now I'm sure they can build all of this. I'm not sure if Vintage Estates does their own pools or you bring somebody else in. <coughs> Pardon me. But if you're looking to build a pool and have it attached to the house like this, it's really important to do that during the build process, just so all the piping and electrical stuff kind of all flows with what the builder's doing. But this outdoor space is just breathtaking. Um, Vintage Oaks is mostly one acre lots out here. So uh, they do have some lots that are a little bit bigger, but tons of just chill, relaxed space that can be built into this area. They got speakers up top. I love this beautiful pool. It's not, they didn't go for the biggest pool because uh, yeah, this is gonna be fine for just kinda, when it gets really hot and you wanna hang outside, hop in the pool for about 10, 15 minutes, get outside, even when it's 100 degrees, you feel amazing just getting your core temperature down a little bit. There are lots of uh, deer and stuff that are running around here. So if you're thinking about moving to Vintage Oaks or well, anywhere in the Texas Hill Country, you're gonna see some deer. But I love the outdoor patio. They got a spot for an outdoor TV, kind of closed up just to keep the TV protected. Really beautifully done kitchen. My motorcycle helmet does not come with it. But uh, yeah, I love the fact they built this in. And if you've been watching my channel, you know I'm a big fan of the Big Green Egg. This one has never been used. I guess they bought it just for looks. But man, if um, my wife says that's the best purchase I ever had made because she loves it when I cook on the Big Green Egg. All right, now we can see from here where the windows open up to that bedroom. The little margarita window coming out this way. And even more just hangout chill spot spaces. So it's really super neat. But uh, if you've been watching, the ch watching this and you're still with me, I appreciate that. Cause we're about to get ready to head to the master bedroom and it's gonna be worth your wait. All right, coming back into the game room slash bar area. Back into the main kitchen. I don't have the exact square footage of this, but if you shoot me a text, I can get that information for you. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a full custom builder that can really do whatever you want if you use them as your builder. All right, you come around the corner here and boom, here we go into the master bedroom or owner suite, whatever we're calling it these days. But just beautifully done. Love, love, love the ceiling work they've put into this house. And <clears throat> I didn't show it when we are outside, but they got little screens that come down on the outside of these windows just so you can see outside, but it's giving you some, uh, people can't see through the screen very well, but it's also giving you a nice shade effect. So yeah, if the sun's coming through, it does change the temperature quite a bit. But yeah, I love the fact they did that out there. All right, check out this master bath that we're coming up to. Before we go, we've got closets. So we're gonna have a his and her closets set up. Ooh, I didn't see this when I did my initial walkthrough. A little extra space there, you can do whatever you want with. And then another closet on the other side of this hallway here, which is also a good size with lots of space. And then boot rack stuck back there in the corner. All right, let's come into the bathroom. Wait, the lights aren't on yet. Oh, they're automatic. They just popped on right when I came in. It, it shocked me the first time I saw it. But this bathroom is just gorgeous. I love the symmetry of this bathroom where I have the makeup uh, war paint station right there and the two vanities. It's just the lighting in here just looks gorgeous. Love that big uh, soaking tub. Like I said, the symmetry, I'm, I'm a big fan of. You come in and the tub is a focal point and then this massive shower. That is beautiful. A little higher windows up there adding lights, but still providing privacy. And you got your water closet tucked back there in the corner, but this tile work is absolutely beautiful as well. So it's like, yeah, I'll, this bathroom is really nice. Even the little floating cabinetry with the lights underneath there looks really, really nice. 
So overall, I've been quite impressed with this builder, um, getting to know the owner a little bit and uh, talking to the neighbor who's built with them before. <clears throat> That's always good to hear because everyone will tell you how awesome and amazing they are. But then when you start talking to people who built with them before, that's where you get the real information. And like I said, she was quite impressed. And that's why I'm here doing this video for you. And like I said, that 275 to 300 or so a square foot, depends on what you want to do, uh, is really nice point to be at. Now, obviously what we've seen so far today, this is not going to be a 275 a square foot house. This is going to be considerably more, but it's a custom home builder. You could do whatever you want. Anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. But what I really like is when viewers become clients. And if you want to reach out to me, all my information is going to be in the description box. So feel free to reach out to me. You can text me, email me, or hit the calendarly link to schedule a Zoom meeting with me. I'll be happy to help. Anyways, uh, if you know someone moving to the area, please share this video with them. All right, that's going to do it for today. Take care now. Bye.